Here we go. Oh yeah, I tried to pull the front wheel off the ground. Get very slow, that's for sure. Ninja 500, wow. Here it is, the 2024 Kawasaki Ninja 500 KRT edition. I'm gonna tell you all about it. Don't go anywhere, you don't wanna miss this. The first thing you'll notice is, man, what a beautiful color. This does have the LCD screen, but you can get a TFT screen. This is the KRT edition. They do make an SE model, I believe it is. I'm gonna go over the prices and everything. Let's get rolling, turn it on. This is super clear. It's got your uh, time in there. They move the buttons to the left uh instead of putting them below which is kind of nice because while you're riding you can use your left hand if you're going down the road and push the buttons i kind of like that but uh, let's get going here huge thank you to plano kawasaki man they've sold about 10 of these they've only been out really on the market for about two weeks so huge thank you to plano kawasaki for always letting me ride their stuff. You can uh, give AJ or Mike Cannon a call. <laughs> nice guy. It's flashing the Econo mode. I'm going to tell you what I've investigated uh, about this bike, and it's, it's quite coincidental. But uh, the first thing I'll tell you about this motorcycle is, man... The 400 goes away. The 500 comes in. Uh, it's 400 and I believe it's 451 cc this bike. This bike is super comfortable. As you can see, the triple trees are there. Your grips are up. So the rider triangle is really comfortable. I'm almost sitting straight up. Let me make sure, let's use our blinker here. Let me make sure I'm getting everything in the viewfinder. I believe I am. I'm using this Insta Ace Pro. And man, it's been nice. Y'all tell me what you think about the video. I'm using the Insta 360 there. I'll tell you what, I don't believe it's got a 260 degree crank. But it kind of sounds like it. Kind of sounds like an Aprilia. But let me get back to uh, what I wanted to tell you. Oh, yeah. This thing has uh, basically 47 horsepower. It's about 370 pounds. And it really, uh, it, it's a very light bike. The seat height on it is 30 inches. I've got a 30-inch inseam, and when we get up to the light up here, uh, I, I believe both feet were, were planted, uh, both feet were down completely. After you ride it for, I don't know, three or four or five months, you'll get a little bit of sag in the, in the uh, suspension. Man, that, that transmission is super smooth. I love that front brake just perfect just perfect let me tell you here yep i'm flat-footed on this and i am a 30 inch inseam i'm about five six five seven i always mess with my wife and tell her that i'm five ten or five eleven she goes you wish but anyways it redlines at ten five if you can see it on there uh got your gear indicator got a fuel fuel gauge shows your odometer and what I meant by the uh, switches being on the left is when you're going down the road you need a hand on the throttle but uh, tripometer mile per gallon 62 miles per gallon the excellent thing about this bike I'm gonna ride it through here and show you what I look like in the glass you can look over and see kind of the rider triangle is what I'm talking about. How comfortable this bike is. And I'm almost sitting straight up. I'm leaned over maybe five degrees. So this is a bike you could ride all day. 
super super comfortable it's got LED lights headlights it looks almost like a ZX6R in the front matter of fact if you put a bigger tire on the back and maybe a uh, let's get up here and I'll show you what it looks like in the glass now you see my foot my foot is straight under almost straight under my hips the uh, my foot is also uh, it's not cramped at all the seat is a little bit smaller of course I'm a little bit bigger guy I'm 225 pounds but it's comfortable uh, there you go let's take it out here on the road I'm gonna tell you the best part of this story I did some investigating I always try and read up on bikes the first thing is the Kawasaki 400 goes away the best thing is the Kawasaki 500 comes in it's like 451 cc and uh, it comes in and it's the same price as the 400 actually it's actually cheaper and let me explain uh, the Kawasaki 400 the Ninja 400 was I think the destination fee on it was 700 bucks and that went down by 300 this year on the 500 and I think a lot of that was related to COVID so your 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 freight and your prep to set it up and to build the bike it's going to be on there but it's actually less than the 400 was let's get this thing out. i tell you what man this bike is i believe it's 54.99 i could be wrong i'll look that price up and put it here on the video uh but for 5400 dollars, this is like i mean kawasaki's got excellent financing right now let's make sure i'm getting everything in the viewfinder yep we should be good but man it's just super comfortable super comfortable six gears one down five up the transmission is butter smooth it does not have a quick shifter but that's always something you could add i don't know if you even really need it for this but let me finish my story on my investigation on what i did find out is coincidentally the Aprilia 457 is the same it's I think the Aprilia 7 cc is more but they both make uh, they both make about 47 horsepower so they're kind of in the same class now the Aprilia 457 is a new bike also and it's a little bit higher dollar it's got an IMU on it which is lean sensitive ABS lean sensitive uh, all those controls wheelie control is regulated by IMU I'll be honest with you I don't really think you I don't know if you really need a wheelie control uh, for something like this this is a super beginner bike but I don't know who copied who if Kawasaki copied the Aprilia or who who made their announcement first I would imagine Aprilia copied Kawasaki but this thing's got plenty of power I'm going to jump off of it up here and show it to you uh, but man it, it's got plenty of power I mean it ain't like riding a one liter bike but this is all a new beginner would need I mean I'm riding one handed it's super steady very stable I mean for a 370 pound bike that's lighter than my bike I paid twenty seven thousand dollars for the bike I own and uh, carbon wheels everything and it's it's 400 pounds so it's just a smaller bike this is on a I believe it's a trellis frame you should be seeing a picture of that um, let's get on here let's go up here and take it down the highway real quick I'll pull over and give you a look but the Aprilia is about $1,800 more of course it's a little bit more high-tech uh, and, and the Aprilia is probably a little bit more exotic Kawasaki is trying to hit the the, the segment 
of this 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 class they want to capture more buyers where Aprilia doesn't can't really produce the volume that Kawasaki can the mirrors are really good uh, let's see what this one is range that'll tell you your range odometer four miles on it but yeah got a slipper clutch in it man the clutch is perfect I mean even if you were sitting in a light let's get on this thing it, it's a Kawasaki 500 it ain't slow golly we're not even red lighting it man impressive I mean impressive this thing you this is a cheap go to work bike or a beginner bike and it's it's so reasonable I mean you could ride this for two or three years and get your money probably real close to what you paid for it right back out but I'm gonna jump off and walk around it and show you some stuff that sticks out to me it does have one disc in the front I believe it's a 300 millimeter disc the brakes are very adequate let's see how this goes into neutral here oh man super easy the uh, put the kickstand down easy easy your uh, headlights are over here your flash to pass I'm gonna walk around this but what a beautiful bike I mean this bike I believe is $56.99 maybe $55.99 you got a helmet lock on it make sure I've got this all in the viewfinder you've got a helmet lock if it was me I'd probably take these passenger pegs off two bolts they come off but look at this it's got that beautiful black but like Kawasaki black pearl look at the front of this bike I mean, look at the uh, LED headlights. I'm going to turn the high beams on, make sure I've got it in the viewfinder. I keep looking. Let's see. High beams. I mean, that's it. That looks like a ZX6R. Make sure. Nope. Don't have it in the viewfinder. There it is. Yep. Look at that bike. Beautiful. $5,600. I mean, how could you go wrong? One thing that I've looked at also, too, if you can see the oil filter in there it's uh, you could change the oil yourself i mean just reach up there spin the oil filter off change it you could put a slip on on this real easy unbolt it oh man look at this black painted wheels got the green pinstripes on the wheels got your uh double piston nissan nissan front caliper I think that's a 290 mil floating rotor you can see the rivets here beautiful bike we'll go to the back you've got plenty of room between the swing arm in there to put a bigger or wider back tire if you wanted to LED light in the back make sure I've got that in the viewfinder LED uh, rear light brake light this is a good looking bike they do make accessories for it they make a green cover for this where if you had a girlfriend that might be a little insecure you could take that seat off and put a cover on there a plastic green cover and they make them in the other colors too they make a black version uh, I know for sure and this is the S uh, this is not the SE this is the KRT version there's your horn right there your four-way flashers you can see it on the dash the dash is easily that that's a pretty bright dash I mean there's no problem seeing it your front uh, reservoir for your disc brakes but man look at this thing they do make an SE model that is keyless entry and it is super cool it's keyless entry I mean you carry a key fob and uh, you don't need a key you just walk up to the bike it does have a locking gas cap but look at this beautiful Kawasaki green man I hope y'all are loving the content thank you so much to Plano Kawasaki their information is always in the uh, description of my videos huge thank you to them Mike uh, 
Ken and AJ up there. AJ's husband, Jason, all the salespeople. Call them. Their number's 972-422-4111. Should be seeing that number in there. Make sure if you got something from this, you like it, you subscribe, send it to somebody. Uh, if, you, if they're looking for a new bike, Plano Kawasaki is the biggest dealer in this area. So they're going to have all this stuff first. They're the biggest volume dealer in the South, and they're approaching being the biggest volume dealer in the uh, United States. But give them a call, 972-422-4111, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for riding with me.